This is Sleep Awareness Week. It's an annual effort to highlight the importance of sleep for our health and our well-being. Just in case having children didn't highlight that enough for you, <laughs> our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with uh, three new studies that show the wide-ranging impact of sleep. Yeah, Kim and Karen, so let's start with vaccines, actually. If you're scheduled to get one, make sure you get a good night's rest, too. A new study finds not getting enough sleep may actually decrease a vaccine's impact. Researchers found men who slept less than six hours the night before getting a shot produced fewer antibodies than those who slept longer. The researchers say good sleep not only appears to increase the protection, but may also extend how long it lasts. Now, interestingly, the same impact was not seen in women who actually tend to have a stronger immune response in general. Now, another study using Apple watches suggests most Americans are not getting sufficient sleep. The Apple heart and movement study found only about 31% of participants got the recommended seven to nine hours of sleep. Now, the average hours of sleep reported was actually less than six and a half hours per night. The American Heart Association has added sleep to their life's essential eight list. That's a set of key measures for improving and maintaining cardiovascular health. Now, finally, when it comes to your heart health, it's not just the quantity of sleep that matters, but the quality as well. Researchers found people who slept poorly had, on average, two fewer years of good heart health. People with sleep apnea were actually at the highest risk, losing up to seven years of heart health. Bottom line here, it's really important to treat problems that impact the quality of sleep to protect your long-term health. I love how Sleep Awareness Week comes the <laughs> after. The week after, that right. So we true. screw with our clocks, yes. <laughs> exactly. No, but good information. We need more sleep. Thanks, Dr. Mm -hmm. Thank you.